going on YouTube? It is your boy, Brian Mark, coming at you with another episode of this channel. We are 6.5 weeks out. This is the overall champion series, and we're coming for redemption, baby. Sit back, relax, enjoy the episode. Let's go. When I say I'm gonna do something, it's already done. I'm coming for overall Ben's Physique champion at Summer Shredding in October 2023. This is redemption. Uh, I was up 196.9 this morning. I went like my weight shot up by a few pounds. I honestly think the only possible reason is that I'm not drinking enough water. So, got four water at the gym. That's like one thing I haven't really been fully tracking is my water intake while I've been down here. And I'm sweating a lot more because I'm in the Dominican, so I'm assuming that would probably be the reason why. So during my workout, I'm going to drink way more water than I want to. I'm going to piss a lot more than I want to today, and I'm I almost am certain that I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and be lighter than I am right now. So um, yeah, my physique still looks good. I feel really confident, but it's like I feel I definitely hold a little bit of water, so I'm going to drink a lot more water. Today. So the workout today, we're going to be doing back day, two sets of assisted pull-ups, then we're going to get into pull-ups, 4 times 12 reps, close grip seated reps, 4 times 10 to 12 reps, single arm rainbow rows, 3 times 10 to 12 reps, deadlifts, 4 times 10 to 12 reps. With my deadlifts, I'm not going heavy, you guys, I'm literally just focusing on like extending my spine. I might even substitute deadlifts for rack pulls, but we'll see. And uh, lower back extensions with weight, so I'm going to be modifying this little machine right here, adding some weight. Back extension. So, without further ado, let's get into the workout. I fucking hate those. That's why my upper back is so strong and my lower back isn't so much. Because I fucking absolutely despise doing rows. But I'm living through something I call the Champion's Creed. It's a set of principles that I live my life by. And we do shit that we hate to do like we love to do it. So the fact that I hate rows just means I need to fucking do them more. So we do shit that we hate to do like we love to do it. So we're doing some rows and we're gonna love it. We're gonna love it. So, on the schedule, we've got, we're all in the next, I was gonna do single arm dumbbell rows, but as you can see, the dumbbell section is fucking tiny, and it's occupied, so, just gonna modify, we're gonna do the same thing. So the goal is to target the lower lats. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing Pull down, so when we do pull downs, we're gonna do single arm and I'm gonna pull it down to like my pocket. So I wanna pull it down to like my, my hip we're doing rock pulls is I want to fire my lower back erectors and get them more active so I'm trying to target those like right down here I'm gonna fire those up a little bit more so rack pulls really good way to fire them up so hitting them with volume too like I'm not going for heavy weights like I'm not trying to like especially six weeks out like I'm trying to like just put those muscles under tension and activate them a lot more because I'll be honest, like, I don't really do a lot of deadlifts, but, you know, it, it was noticeable on stage. And so, the goal of the series, and if you just followed, started following the YouTube series, I did a fitness competition. I won first place in my class. I was second in the overall. I want to take the overall at Summer Shredding in October, on October 21st. So, the goal is to bring up my weak points, and my lower back was one of those areas that I need to improve. So, doing rack pulls to improve that.
last trip to the Dominican has been like so good for my mental clarity and focus. It's just really allowed me to just like dial in on this prep. Like after my last show, like initially when I did summer shredding in August in Toronto, I was only gonna do one show. But when I didn't win the overalls, it made me so fucking hungry to take that trophy. And it's something I've been visualizing and manifesting that like I am the overall champion. So I needed to basically readjust my schedule and re rework my life to make sure that I could make this prep work because again, I'm not the type of person that can just like do a show to compete. Like if I'm gonna compete, I wanna win. So coming to the Dominican for two weeks has been really good for mental clarity, focus. It's allowed me to like meal prep again, which is like fucking important. And so I'm feeling really good. Like I'm feeling really confident about where we're at. I feel like I feel like we've maintained a lot of the shreds post show, and uh, I know I know for a fact that we're just gonna bring up the areas in my body that need attention. And we're gonna step on stage in October and take home that fucking overall. So we're coming, baby. October 21st, be in Houston for summer shredding. Promise you, you're gonna be watching your boy. Come on with some fucking hardware. Not some hardware, the overall trophy. They look lame. They actually feel really good though. And it like, it's just helping me be a lot more conscious of like my scaps, because that's one thing I need to work on is like making sure that I'm getting my scapulas, my scapulas back into the right position when I'm doing my back pros. Again, we're just like working on improving our, you know, turning our weak points into strengths is really the focus for the next six weeks. The next thing we're doing for scapular retraction is another exercise my coach has me doing. So, basically what you do is you stay, keep in a push-up position and you keep as if you're gonna do a push-up, but you just let your shoulders drop into position, keeping your arms straight, and then you put your back all the way up. So you allow your shoulders to sink in, keeping your arms straight, and then you push your back all the way up. And you're just basically letting your scaps retract and then you're extending. It's very difficult for me to do. Uh, ow. Ow, it's jolly. Can't you hear my heart beat slow? Come on, Brian. Don't be a little bitch. These are not fun. Arms straight, your scaps drop, and then extend your back as far up as you can. So you guys can see where we're currently at. This is six weeks out. It's just standing straight on, flexed. I'll show you guys my front pose. Yeah, I'm gonna continue on with the day. Show you guys my post-workout meal. 
that I have after every single workout, plus take you guys to my favorite coffee shop to show you guys uh, just a little bit of like the Dominican morning ritual and um, and just show you guys how I get into my workday. So, uh, I'll see you guys at home. Wait, just kidding. I'll see you guys when we go get some coffee. Pretty much every morning. Um, it's fucking awesome. It's like literally two blocks away from our, our little not Airbnb. Even. Well, not even. Um, what do you usually get here? Uh, black Americano because that oatmeal stuff that you got me at home is so good, so I just put it in there. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love that. I get an iced coffee with brown sugar. It's really good. I like the coffee here. What, what, what's the bread that you usually get? You want to show? Oh, the bread. It's not there. It's not there, but they have really good quiche. Do you know what quiche is? It's like breakfast pie. It's like uh, like the pie crust, and then it's like scrambled eggs, and then whatever meat. I had it. I usually get a uh, coffee with almond milk with two uh, Splenda, so that's what I got. Uh, yeah, this place is beautiful, you guys. Um, absolutely amazing, and the fact that it's like a block away from our house is incredible. So I just feel super grateful and super blessed, the fact that we can literally just walk up the street and go back to our Dominican Oasis. Okay, so, guys, we've got uh, protein butter, peanut butter, salt, cinnamon, oatmeal. This is breakfast, this is what we're gonna be eating. I'm also gonna be doing 50 grams of banana on top because I'm feeling, I'm feeling saucy, you know? Add some banana, fuck it. 60 grams of oats, one scoop of protein powder, one tablespoon of peanut butter, cinnamon, stevia, salt, and then I'm gonna add 50 grams of banana and that's gonna be my oatmeal. Volume is the name of the game when you're on contest prep because you don't really get to eat a lot of food, so you need to make sure that the food that you eat, like it feels like a lot. And so cooking your oats on the stove top, like you can literally have the same amount of oatmeal, but it ends up being, it ends up feeling like more because there's more volume because there's like, the oats are cooked better. One thing that I do with this protein powder is like um, stuff from the Dominican. It is not necessarily the best tasting. In fact, it tastes like fucking cardboard, so, to put it lightly. So um, I'm gonna do two monk fruit sweeteners. These in here, because that will make the protein taste significantly better. What was in the uh, bag that you put in there? What's up? What was in the bag that you put in there? Oh, it's cocoa powder, sorry. A little bit of cocoa powder. I put like less than a teaspoon, or it's like a teaspoon of cocoa powder. I just do that for flavoring. When we do put the peanut butter on, we are gonna measure it because like you think that you're only doing one tablespoon of peanut butter, but oftentimes it's like you're eating a lot more than you think you are. So we are gonna make sure that we measure this out properly. And last but not least, I already chugged my fucking coffee. So we're gonna have to heat up some water because Caffeine is life, right? If you're a caffeine addict like me, just comment below. Once it's all made, so I like to add a little bit of cinnamon on top. This is sugar-free, zero calorie syrup. And we're six weeks out, so we're not really worried about artificial sweeteners right now. All right, breakfast is made. Now it's time to eat. Um, for me, I like to eat my breakfast and like, watch some YouTube. So I'm just gonna get everything all set up and then eat my breakfast, watch some YouTube, and walk you guys through what's, uh, what my day's gonna look like. The amount of bugs in the Dominican is absolutely fucking horrific. So if I don't do this, I'm gonna get eaten alive. I'm not even joking. They are so bad. I absolutely hate getting bitten by mosquitoes. So literally have to shower a bug spray. Okay, so last and final thing that I'm gonna show you guys is every single morning, once I'm done, we do a power hour work session. So my power hour work session, what it looks like is I sit down, I post intentional content on uh, Instagram, uh, The Real Brian Mark, on TikTok, and on my online trainer channel. And then after I post intentional content, I post a testimonial on my Instagram stories. And then I sit down for about an hour total. That's why it's called the power hour. And I really intentionally focus on the things that I need to work on. And the things that I need to work on every single day, this is why it's called the power hour. I do this five days a week is talking to my one-on-one -on -one clients, working on my mastermind, and managing my team. And so, for the next hour, I'm gonna be sitting here, once I'm done eating, I'm gonna plug in and I'm gonna work, and just like serve my clients, post my content, post on my Instagram stories, and get after it.
Let's go. Thank you so much for watching guys. Again, we are six weeks out. Took you guys through a pull day. Hopefully you guys got some value. Make sure you smash that like button. Share this channel out with a friend and I promise you guys, like my intention is to like blow this channel up. So you can follow along on my fitness journey. You can follow along on everything I'm doing as like a business owner and a CEO. Hope you guys have the best day ever. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.